Hey fighters, today on the show we got Lucas Lopez. From TikTok. You've seen his videos probably. He's, He's very that ubiquitous. Funny. If you yeah. don't know what that word is, look it up. Look it up. <laughs> That's <what> he... <laughs> he was very funny. Yeah, very funny on, uh, on the podcast, very funny on TikTok. Funny guy. We're talking about Riverdale based on the Archie comics. This is a very popular show, but none of us had seen it. I, I'd seen it. <laughs> I don't really listen to you on this show. Oh, yeah, that's fair. You In get it, right? Three, two. Oh, and Lucas's first ever merch drop is happening this week. So go to his profile on TikTok, on Instagram, and check it out. What? No, I don't have cable, but I'm willing and able to watch what's on your mind. I find I waste my time the best when I lose control of the remote staring. Steady at the channels, giving up on intuition. I'm obsessed with television. Welcome back to Pile of Fighters, the show where we take a second look at TV show's first episodes. I'm your host, Ian Fisher, with my friend. Well, you look so excited when I said friends. I was expecting co-host. I was playing it back the whole intro. Man. Well, I've been scared because you've been interrupting me when That's, we, we that. stared at each other in the eyes. For I know. That, that Staring in the intro. eyes. Uh, you didn't say my name. No, I don't want to. Okay. You're going to be like, uh, what, what's John Wick's name? Boogie Yaga? No. Uh, Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. Yeah, you're not supposed to say the, it, right? uh, The Boogie Man. Yeah. Or the witch. Yeah. How's it going, man? I'm all right, man. I had a decent week. I don't, it's one of those weeks where I don't remember anything I did. And I yeah. knew you were going to ask me this question. And I'm like, should I make up some story? Before the podcast, do you think about this segment? Because this segment doesn't last very long. No. Yeah. This is the segment that makes me more nervous than anything yeah, else. Yeah. That's funny because I don't think I've ever had anything going into this. And in fact, that is almost every time we talk about the space race or. We talk about something stupid. We yeah. Should, because well, I should we ask don't... you, what? how was your week? Ah, I'm glad you asked. It was tough. Was it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a egomaniac that I'm only nervous thinking about my week. I've never even asked about yours. And if I know something horrible happened to you. I mean, you look like it's shit, happening to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got dark, sunken eyes. Uh, know what I've been concerned about? Let's say this. The climate? <laughs> Not really. I'm going to be dead in like three years. I hope the, so. uh... <laughs> I don't have to do this show anymore. Uh, I listen to some podcasts, obviously, I'm yeah, a podcast you're a big fan. Podcast guy. And a lot of them I've listened to for years. And I've heard this relates to a story we just edited out of this because I just told it. But I've heard them tell the same story. Why would you say that? That doesn't help anybody. Because it's obviously there was an edit that. point because of the way we brought into this. That's fine. But what I'm saying is I've heard them tell the same stories. Right. And I don't care. You don't judge them for that. So, but how early is it? How is it too early? For me to start telling the same stories that I told around like episode it's three. It's not a great... Because I've used all my A material. Well, I know you got a little baby at home. I know you're not sleeping great. So I know when you start telling the same stories over and over again. And you know what? You're a new dad. Maybe that's just like a dad thing. Dads tell the same stories over and I'm over again. I'm saying that I'm hearing it on a podcast. They're not dads. There's very few podcast dads. Mm, yeah. I'm just trying to help <laughs> you out of a corner here, man. Like We're sleeping pretty good. My kid's teething. So he's having a tougher time during the day than the night. My girlfriend's teething. Okay. She's got her wisdom teeth coming in. Oh, is that not a yeah, joke? Not a joke. I she had to go get work. x-rays. <laughs> it's, it makes it sound like I'm dating a baby. Yeah, I, mean, I yes. thought it was is just a joke. Is she younger than me? <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. But not that much younger than me. Ooh, that kind of ties into the show, but I won't say why. I'll bring that up later. Okay. A little plot line from our show tonight. Hey, you know what? Let's, let's, let's bring, bring in our guest. guest. Let's bring in our guest. Worst, worst, he had to witness the worst story <laughs> he's ever seen. He's walking out. He doesn't want to be in. You guys know him from TikTok. He's a hilarious comedian on there. You've probably actually seen one of his videos. He's like a must-follow guy. Lucas Lopez. Hey! hey. Woo. Oh, wow. Not too, <laughs> so humble enough you woo your own name. We would have done that for yeah, you. Yeah, we would have done all the wooing. Yeah, I didn't know what we were going to do. That's why we didn't talk about that. Yeah, anymore. we should have talked about that. It should have been a dumb story we had Before the pod, we prepped him on all the things. Okay, here's segment one, here's segment two. Yeah. We will woo your name. Yeah, yeah. we left him hanging. <laughs> How's it going? I'm good, man. I'm good. I just... Uh, I came off of a super tough last week. Oh, My yeah. My last week was really shit. Busy or yeah, just bad? Super. Like, I, in terms of work, a lot of, like, work stuff, a lot of, um, like, I just moved into a new place. So that was a lot of time. Moving effort. sucks. Moving fucking sucks. Yeah, yeah, even when you love your like new place, there's oh, that excitement dude. of that. But it's like moving all your stuff, bags, yeah. boxes. And at, at the end of the day, it's like you move in. Yeah. But then it's like. You don't even want to be there anymore. <laughs> like it, you had so much trauma from yeah. the roof that you're like, ah. You just like now you have PTSD. PTSD and no sleep. <laughs> yeah, literally <laughs> from these walls. Yeah, it's not, well, it, like the rent is also. You guys like the Toronto rent is fucked. It's yeah, crazy yeah. high, and like 
th- th- on top of that, it's like super. It's not super small, but it's like you know a good enough space. The, the like, new the newer places are always smaller. I find. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like super small, but it, it's still like I'm really grateful. I'm really, really mm. grateful, and I'm happy. It's You're downtown. Done. Yeah, downtown. Awesome. I live. I'll, I'll, I'll edit that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll, sure, yeah. I'll, you know, I'll bleep that. Listen, so you'll get a piece of that. Subscribe to our Patreon to find out who this is. Oh, that's awesome. You're right by me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's great, man. You're a five minute walk from Literally. everything. All Literally. those restaurants. Yeah, yeah, yeah gonna, for sure. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, location's be- like the best. Totally. But, like, I couldn't ask for anything more. That's a great street, actually. I love that. There's like some nice, cool vines yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, houses. yeah, yeah. It's like kind of hidden, no? Like yeah. Niagara, yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like it's kind of hidden. Oh, definitely. And yeah. It's like a good shortcut to get up to King. Exactly, Portland. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, good coffee shops down there. There's Farm Boy. You can be part of the Farm Boy grocery store. Haven't been there once. You haven't lived. No interest. <laughs> American listeners, no interest. It's like Trader Joe's kind of no interest Not it's got really. wooden floors at a grocery store <laughs> dude it reminds me of like a like a like a what's the other one whole foods yeah whole foods but it's cheaper it's like is it it's cheaper than loblaws <laughs> this is such a commercial yeah. for farm boy <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't live in this neighborhood so i'm like i don't give farm a boy shit manager is listening right now he's like i didn't even pay for this <laughs> last time i moved taking notes <laughs> last time i moved uh we had to move because our uh our place was being sold so it, we, we, we live not too far from here and there was a building going out in front and everyone was selling their units because the view of the lake was leaving. So we had to move pretty quick mm. and uh, just so happened my wife was going back home. So I had to move everything on my own and that was something that she like felt you bad about. You didn't even ask me, right? Time. I didn't ask That's you. That's a good friend. I, I'm not asking a I'm over. I'm <laughs> done with asking friends to. I'm in a place in my life. You're not doing the life. thing like come over for pizza? I'll spend the money. Lucas, did you ask some good friends to come over and help you? I, I literally, like all my friends helped me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. feel like, you no, know, but it's true. Like when you're, you kind of have to do it yourself. Yeah, you uh, you get You've moved two or three like, times. You're like, you got no friends <laughs> left. Like, when, when I had to, You lost the first, all the friends move? you had on the first yeah, move. You lose one friend to move. He's like, you never said you had a piano? Yeah. Well, you did yeah. when I moved. You did give me a recommendation of someone to clean my old place. I didn't yeah, clean my place out, and it was a nightmare. <laughs> All my recommendations are nightmares. Ian had this uh, recommendation. He's like, "Oh, this person will come. They're going to clean your place. They're perfect, but they're a little crazy. So what you need to do is you that you pay them up front, like, hey, this is how long, and then you need to leave the house because they are obsessive and they're going to clean everything in the apartment. And I didn't have a lot of time. I needed to give the keys out, so I only had about two hours. Huge mistake. I was freaking. This person would not leave the like apartment. Like she stays for like 13, 14 hours. She's like obsessively needs to get everything. But that's why you pay her by the job. You say, look, I I, I just want the kitchen and the bathroom clean. Yeah. And, uh, here's $125. And you got to leave. Please just do it. So as, I, as, the, as I hired this person to come over. I only had, like I was giving the keys downstairs in like two hours. Yeah. It, it, we're at an hour and 40 minutes and she's only just begun. And I'm like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you thought I pranked you. I, I truly thought this was a prank because I was like, you need to leave out of here. And I'm like carrying her stuff out and putting it in the hallway. Yeah. And she's just like ignoring or going to get one thing and continuing. And I was texting Ian. I'm like, Ian, I'm going to have to physically remove this person from the apartment. Like, I don't know what to do. Ian's texting me back. He's like, please don't hit her. <laughs> texted me after she was like hey thanks for the referral rockland was a really cool guy I was like, did you meet my friend rock i got us pizza i went down and bought pizza i brought you? it up yeah and we ate pizza and so I, maybe she did think she's, cool, gr- she's, she's banned maybe- from my house <laughs> but my <laughs> girlfriend doesn't want to hear either because she doesn't like that we like go to the movies come home she's still here go to another movie go out for crazy, dinner yeah. leave for the weekend come back on monday she's still here cleaning anyway we're gonna plug her if you need a new cleaning lady. <laughs> yeah pay for the patreon <laughs> You can tell you the best clean your apartment's ever Seriously, had. Seriously, it is the best. She does baseboards. She does floor. People can tell when she comes to the house because the inside of my tiles look clean. <laughs> the underside of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's, she's redoing the broken. <laughs> <laughs> she actually put up this, built this studio. She does hardware. Guys, uh, we'll talk about the pilot later. But I want to know, did you, uh, were you Archie readers? Did you ever read Archie? Because it's been around the since books, the 30s. The mini books. Yeah. I always saw them at No Frills and never picked them up. <laughs> oh, No Frills. That's why you don't want to go to Farm Boy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> loyal okay. Loyal, brand loyal. You? Same, same exact thing. I'd see them in line at the yeah. grocery store and I'd, I'd always be curious, but I literally same. never opened one up ever. Same. Like, I didn't know till tonight. I'm like, oh, was Archie? I mean, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, much. we'll talk about it later. But I thought, I thought this guy was, yeah, I guess. Talk about it later. Right. Uh, uh, you didn't read it. I, I read them. I read them when I was young. You did. I got them in that grocery line. So they were comics? They were comics from like the 30s. But it's like the old style of comics. So comics, when they came about, there were all types of genres. So there's like romance comics. 
there is monster comics, vampire comics, superhero comics. And then at some point in the early 60s, <laughs> when you were born, when I was born, Marvel and DC, they were like, oh, everyone really seems to like the superhero comics. And now when you think of comics, it's mostly those. But and they kind of went away with these comic stands would be like, let's get the romance one. Uh, and I think that Archie's a holdover from when there was just digests of like a time. simpler time. Like a simpler time. But it was just time. like, it was the best one that it survived. Yeah, and it's just like teenagers in a thing. Did, did you read any comics, you? No, I was a Spider Man, like giant Spider Man fan as a kid. Because of the animated series? Yeah. And, uh, but mostly I had, I had, I was big into action figures, but I didn't really get into comics. I ha owned a couple. Yeah. But just to have, I never really spent much time reading them. Any comics? I like, I like, I like fake like superheroes in elementary school to be uh, like like to have friends and shit like that. Right, it's like right. a bunch of like kids in my elementary. They all like had a thing. <laughs> like every kid had a thing. You know what I mean? Like this kid was like the uh, like the Ouija board kid. Right, 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 right. Weird right. shit. Wait, know? he's like <laughs> seven years old. He's got he's conjuring Satan in class. Yeah. <laughs> like swear to God, there was a kid who like liked, like liked Ouija boards and shit like that. That there was another kid who was like obsessive over like eating bugs but like performing for us type of thing no like he would he, i swear to god he would come and his name was danny did uh, you go to him. hogwarts <laughs> right um, he would like make you guys watch him eat bugs like, he wouldn't faster? make us we love that shit like we loved it <laughs> he didn't make us do shit like every time it was like danny would come we would go to like this corner of our school and he'd pick up like those fucking you know those ones that are smooth, those with a thousand uh, fingers. No, those, I don't like those. You know what I'm talking? The ones that curl up when you touch them. Yeah, 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 dude, yeah. Those little guys. Dude, those. He used to fucking chew on those, man. Uh, chew on them. Chew like gum. Yeah, and we would all be like, "Holy fuck!" Like he's really, whatever. I would. I wanted to be like a comic book kid, and like, <laughs> oh, I, wait, I want to know what happened to Danny. It's <laughs> like a CEO. It's like a bad CEO story. Right now. <laughs> fuck. Um, I remember so these, the, like these them, bugs you? in Hawaii. There's the, the centipedes, the huge ones. Like I've like seen arm, those. Like like arms. I swear those like have a Guinness Burger World Record. Yeah, because they're like so painful. And yeah. the locals say when you, if you get bit by one, the only cure is to be drunk for three days, the, for the pain. Really? Yeah. Is, did, did Danny ever eat one of those? <laughs> <laughs> uh, just like does a YouTube challenge with one of those. Like, really? <laughs> He's got four million subscribers. He's making yeah. money. Yeah. <laughs> Danny is doing fine. Danny. So wait, you pretend you didn't actually like Spider Man. So I didn't. No, I like I did. I just like uh, I didn't really uh, like go watch it and go do, like I would. Yeah, I'd watch like a one two movie, but I would never like I was no. You're not gonna point is no. Out. Yeah, <laughs> I liked X Men no. comics. I had X Men comics. So X Men. Those yeah. were your guys. Those were my comics. I didn't have any others. And then uh, right when I moved here, actually, like ten years ago, I didn't. I was new to this. I didn't realize this, but comic uh like marvel and dc they do a stupid marketing thing where they like reboot their numbers every few years so it's like you know it's like this is issue 800 all our comics are going back to issue one and we're starting at issue one and doing a reboot and is it the same story yeah, essentially yes but they'll like maybe do an origin again and they'll like go back it's just a marketing thing i didn't realize that i we just moved here and I saw that that was happening. I'm like, whoa, they're starting fresh on every line. I'm going to collect them from this point on. So I bought like, the. It, they got me for like six months only, but I did like Flash, Wonder Woman. You'd buy them all. I got them all. That's totally why they do it. That's right? why 100% why they do it. It's right? just a marketing yeah. thing. And then it wasn't that long into it when I realized I was too much of a novice of comics to know that's what it was. Yeah. I thought it was this you thought, groundbreaking like, event. No, I didn't think it was, there was going to be money involved. I just, you know me, I'm a completionist. Like I need, if I get anything, the reason I would never want to get into comics is because there's been so many since the like 60s yes. and I'm like, I could never have them all. Right. And in fact, I, there's a Marvel app, Marvel uh, uh, Infinite, I think or something where they have all the comics on the app and I started trying to read them from the 60s on. And uh, let me tell you, pretty problematic. <laughs> <laughs> Those early issues. But uh, so... Not it, so it was like a re-release. It was a. It was. It was not a re-release. It was like a reboot. It's very similar to. No, I guess it's not similar at all to the it's show. It's more like the Spider-Man. They redo that every. Few yeah, years. it's like a spy, It's like yeah, exactly. Like my Spider-Man was Toby. Your Spider-Man was Toby. With me. Yeah, and I'm yeah. no other Spider-Man kid. No, that no, Garfield guy. <laughs> Garfield. Fuck him, dude. <laughs> I just I, watched I, that one for the first time. I I had missed it completely. Yeah, you like it. <laughs> I don't know why we're going to talk about this. But it's like, I didn't miss that one completely because I was a, such a Toby guy. And then I was like, I don't want to watch this. And then I re watched it 
uh, to prep for the new one coming out. I'm like, I'll finally watch this. And there's a scene that I loved, and it's when he first becomes Spider-Man, and he's breaking off all the handles, like the doorknob, when he's trying to... Oh, leave. and he's too strong. And Can't he's too strong, and that's it. the only time they've shown how strong yes. Spider-Man is, and he is that strong in the comics. And I was like, oh, that's cool. They should all do that. That he has to consciously try... That he has try to consciously to try and like yeah. pick up a pencil with those So you're a Garfield guy, maybe. Uh, matter of fact... <laughs> no. I like Tom Holland too. Like uh, Tom Holland's but, my favorite. Yeah, Toby's my guy. Yeah, same with it's me. It's like even James Bond came out this week. He's done five of those movies, but I still was like, I don't know if this is my Bond because when I was a kid, I played N sixty four. Yeah, and and Pierce Brosnan was the Bond back then. Yeah, this, but Craig, he was your Bond, I guess. Yeah, I I never watched James Bond. Didn't I didn't like it. those. You didn't kind fake of watch it to impress your no no no, no 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 not that not that <laughs> wow no. I don't give two shits about Bond. <laughs> me neither. Fuck I don't that. give. A, I don't get it. Who cares? Who it's cares? a guy who kills a bunch of people. I sick. can't believe it's so popular. And he's popular. drunk while he does it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got bit by that Hawaiian bug. Had to be drunk for three days. There's he kills 500 people. Imagine if that was Do it. that, Instead John Instead of Rick. a radioactive spider, it's just getting bit by a very painful centipede. He's just wasted. <laughs> he's just wasted. He's just a shitty superhero. He just makes you an alcoholic. He's just like, I just ruins I your life. superpower, actually. <laughs> you guys are wondering where my hands are shaking. <laughs> okay, what about, what about uh, adaptations of stuff that you liked as a kid. Is there anything that you're hopeful will be ad- adapted? Like Archie, we watched Riverdale. We'll talk about the pod, actual pilot later. But that's something from like <clears throat> when you're kids that's being adapted. What, is there anything that you would like to see? I live in this like surreal like world, man. We're growing up. Like my guys were like, I was obsessed with Star Wars and Spider-Man. I've never heard you say anything about Star Wars in our tenure. As a kid, I was obsessed. My friend's wow. dad used to make us Lego Star Wars before that was a thing. Wow. Like he was like this really creative dude and he would make the Millennium Falcon and stuff. Ten years later, that's on the shelves. I'm like, yeah, Barry could have been rich. You know what's crazy? I've, about Legos, I just bought my kid a very expensive Lego set. Spider-Man Lego set. Uh, the big uh, Daily Bugle. He, he's eight months old. He won't be able to play with this thing for years. I'm just going to put it in a You're just storage hoping he locker. Spider-Man. If he doesn't, I guess I'll finally yeah, get to play, play with, with it after it. seven years. But it's like... I'm going to have to put this in a storage locker somewhere and just leave it be for like half a decade. You built it? I didn't build it. I bought the thing because I was oh. worried that it would be at a print by the time. If he ends up liking Spider-Man, I'm going to be like, that. Ah, that was... The- and you have to st- you are a completionist. <laughs> exactly what you're talking about. You're like, I have to have 100%. it. 100%. I'm an obsessive. I am much like that cleaning lady. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he got her pizza because he saw himself in her. Wait, was that the mother like- of your kid? <laughs> Is that the twist? <laughs> so, but you like well so everything you like. Everything I like is now remade. Yeah. And the weird thing about being an actor, as a kid, I would have killed to be Spider Man. I would have killed to be in Star Wars. And now those, <laughs> now that's possible, and I still don't even come close. Yeah. And I'm like, oh no, they're just all yeah. That's why I think this is a simulation. But that's another <laughs> podcast. What about you? Is there anything like any books or, or TV or something that you would like to see? Maybe as a movie or as or as TV. Dude, I was I was just like a pretty I was a pretty shit kid. Like I, I wasn't into like <laughs> stuff like that. Like I, I, like I liked I liked movies a lot. Yeah. I watched a lot of horror movies. That's what I was obsessed with horror movies. Horror I movie. loved horror movies. Because your Everyone. kid friends were summoning up Satan and eating <laughs> terrifying animals. No wonder. Yeah, it was bad influence from everyone. Horror movies as a kid. Yeah, is there I any loved horror, horror movies, movies that you'd like to see remade that haven't already been remade? I think I want to see a good version of Nightmare on Elm Street. A good one, for, though. Because okay. I saw the 2016 yeah, 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 or 2012. Yeah, yeah. It was shit. Was that the Freddy versus Jason one? No, 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 no. Freddy versus Jason was just that's like That's not a... the one with Jennifer Lawrence, is it? No, I don't believe so. Oh, okay. No, 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 no that's no, no. House at the End of the Street. House at the End of the yeah, Street. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a, that's not a bad movie. I think that was filmed here. It was. Yeah, yeah. It was filmed in Toronto, yeah. yeah. There's so many movies that were filmed. Yeah. So many horror yeah. movies that were filmed in Toronto. Yeah. A bunch. Yeah. But um, The place. Ring. I, you guys ever see The Ring? Of course. The Ring, when I was a kid, scared me so bad. That like, it was I was like not okay yeah. about the phone ringing because phones used to ring. Remember now we all got cell phones, but like the phone would ring phones at the house. You'd be a telemarketer. Ring. You're home alone, and I was like, it's that ring girl, dude. Um, I had a babysitter. Her name was Maria, and she had uh, like DVDs stacks. This is where I got my love for horror movies from from this woman, and she <laughs> had like a stack in drawers. Like she had like four drawers. Wow. Swear to God, fucking like Japanese horror movies, <laughs> like Ukrainian horror movies, weird shit, this woman, right? Like she had like, it was whatever. And she used to feed me amazing food. And I like, thought you were going to say bug. No, no, no. <laughs> she was Danny's mom, actually. Right? <laughs> but she, so she brings me into, like, whatever. We're, like, um, she had these drawers and she brought out these movies, whatever. And uh, she would put them on. And if I walked in, 
She didn't give a fuck. Like, I would be sleeping, but she was so chill. She was a Dominican woman. Really, really cool lady. And I would walk and sit next to her and sit down and watch it. Uh. And that's where all my traumas came from, from watching these movies. <laughs> oh, your traumas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I, I, the first scary movie I ever watched was The Exorcist. And uh. it was the first one I ever watched. And I saw the fucking... Her, like, twisting her neck 360. Yes. Dude, I was, like, fucking She damaged eight. her spine or something <laughs> doing that scene. Dude, that movie left, like, a trauma on her. She, yeah. ha- she couldn't shower for, like, four days or something like that. Lucas, Swear we actually God. have a surprise for you. Maria, come in here! <laughs> <laughs> I have seen almost zero horror movies in my life. You're not a horror movie guy, right? I, as you know, I do not like to be titillated. I didn't know this till the Squid Game episode. Oh, well, Squid I don't you like... You don't like even oh, seeing gore, God. though. It's uh, well. That's a different thing. Yes, I don't like seeing gore. I don't care for any of that shit. But I also don't like. Sp- I I love spoilers. I will before I see any movie, I read about it on Wikipedia. I just want to know what happens. Now I can just enjoy this movie and not wonder what's happening next. I don't like to wonder what's going on. And the whole point of horror movies is to not know what's happening next. Like there's that's really the thing is mm-hmm. to be. It's the suspense. You so live in the suspense. Yes, exactly. So any thriller or horror movie, I'm like, well, this is actually the whole point of this movie. Is uh is designed against what I a psycho am. like you who reads the spoilers. That's not a psycho. I'm just saying like you read the last page, but you it is a little psycho psychotic. No, and then I can enjoy it more <laughs> because I feel like with like what you said about not knowing what happens next. Yeah. I feel like some people rely on horror movies to like because they want that. Yeah, but like they want to get like jump scares. Yes, and exactly. Like, but there's in my opinion, if you watch a horror movie and you think it's scary because of jump scares and stuff like that it's not it's you're not really enjoying the movie yeah it's not a that's not the horror you want psychological damage like yeah yeah like i want to not be able to watch my my family home video maintain any relationships i haven't haven't gotten erection since the ring (laughs) (laughs) yeah and i wanted that so thank you um have you seen hereditary no that was filmed i had a friend of mine who was hair and makeup on that no way yeah 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 it was filmed in toronto yeah i didn't know that that's one of my favorite on your street yeah, uh, no way. I don't know oh, <laughs> in your house. <laughs> it was filmed here based on the real incidents that happened in your, the people who lived there before. They're in like, your elementary. Like ketchup on those walls. Uh, no, I haven't actually seen that one. No? No. It's, it's good? Man, watch it. Best one? Dude, I, I've seen, it, out of all the years I went to the theaters so far, I went to see that one with my girlfriend when it came out. And I swear to God, the first time ever, I had to sleep facing the facing the door i felt so weird <laughs> it was such an uncomforting movie but it was so good it was so good there's nothing worse than it's like praised like, online very heavily it's like everyone said like well this is the m- new standard the new it, it standard. is the new st- for today's date a hundred percent someone has to beat hereditary yeah that director made another movie called midsummer yes oh that, that's the guy dude, that movie yeah. that movie was so too, I was talking weird about that. that normally gore and stuff doesn't bother me at all um, because I had so much trauma as a kid. <laughs> yeah. But the scene when they they jump off the cliff and the and, they, and then the guy or whatever. Uh, I know. I, for me, about. I was like, that was so. There, also, cliff jumping is a popular sport in my town in BC. So <laughs> oh, seeing no that it was a little bit too real, that I was like, yeah, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I like this movie. <laughs> My girlfriend's like, after we saw it too, she's like, I want to see that again. I'm like, I've never seen it. <laughs> That's a really good movie, man. Yeah. But it's too much. It's too yeah, much. Yeah, it was intense. It's uncomfortable. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. That's. Man, that do you guys, uh, before we talk about the show, do you guys sleep with, like, when you hear a noise in the night, uh. are you the type to get up and check on it? Like, do you have a weapon under your bed or anything like that? Or are you just like, if they're going to kill me, they're going to kill me and going back to bed? I don't have a weapon under my bed. Uh, but I usually say, if I hear anything, I go, I'm in the bedroom. You say that? <laughs> and the guy's just going to be, you know end what? it. I'm going to go. The, the, yeah. the guy There's a Lego house. set in the yeah. storage locker. <laughs> just come in here and just... Kill shoot. me. <laughs> Kill my wife first, please. <laughs> you seem like someone who, uh, from what I know about you, you, you're probably scared of everything at night as well. Oh, I thought you were going to say have weapons and I was about to hit this chair and like a knife falls out. <laughs> uh, yeah, I go check on it. No, I'm not... I'm like... Uh, I'm scared of non-scary things. Like I'm scared of elevators, scared mm. of flying, but things like that don't bother me as much. Like we've got a whole bunch of like weird weapons in the room for that. <laughs> but when I was I was living in Palm Springs a couple years ago, my girlfriend and I went to LA for the day to do a comedy show actually, okay. and then I came back the next day, and the door was open to the guest house. Ah. Uh, and I'm and the way this house was built, you actually you yeah, I stayed in that through guest the house. kitchen. You could see the guest house. Yes. So I'm like grabbing a dish or whatever, and I look through the window and see the guest house doors open. And we've been gone for two nights, I think. And I was like, oh shit. 
So we grabbed like a frying pan. I grabbed two knives. She grabbed a frying pan and we went out there and it's night. And we like went in there uh. and went in. And I was fully expecting like a, uh, an unhoused person to be in there or something. And like I put on this deep voice and I was like, we're coming for you. Get out now. <laughs> like I was like, like I was, Batman. And we were fully ready. And like she was ready if I went down to like hit this guy with this pan. And it, it must have just been the wind. I still don't know what happened. How? It was, oh, it's I, not solved? It's unsolved. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Calling it unsolved that's... is so funny. <laughs> it's a cold case. <laughs> Instead of saying like nothing, it was nothing. No, that's no, actually the premise of the unsolved. next podcast. Is I was trying to figure out what was in my house. <laughs> yeah. So I don't mind like in those moments trying to actually stop it. But, you know, basic things like an elevator ride scare me. I got, I got, I, I want to hear yours, Lucas, but I will say something that now freaks me out. So I have a kid, as we just previously established, he's eight months old, and we have a monitor, video monitor, for his room. So he's in the crib. And two things about this monitor freak me oh, out. Dude. <laughs> you're, you're, oh, dude. You've no, no, seen no, too no. many horror movies. Yeah. One thing is, so at night, it has extremely good night vision. Like, it's all that green and black oh, I don't, on the camera. The Paris Hilton sex tape. Yeah, it looks very much like the Paris Hilton Not sex that tape. I've seen that. <laughs> and it's on the there. The Laden capture footage. The, 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 <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Seal, Seal Team 6. six. Yeah. So it's like that. Oh, I saw and, that. Helicopter uh, 2 down. The, the camera has a little light on it. So... Some, it's pitch black in his room because it has the, you know, the sun out, blank out curtains. You so painted his windows black. <laughs> dark in his room. <laughs> and sometimes I'll wake up in the night and I'll look over the monitor to check on him. And he'll be awake. And all he sees in the room is that little light on the camera. So he's staring directly at the camera. So That's over. So... And it's just like the bright eyes because you know how the Because the night, night camera, vision, yeah. So it's truly just like a terrifying sta- baby awake. Terrifying baby has he ever floated thing. towards the camera? <laughs> Not yet. I think that happens when he turns two. I think and then the other thing about this video thing is if a uh, friggin' uh, fruit fly, like a tiny, tiny, less than a house fly. Yeah. Like a t- it a looks tiny big. thing flies over it it doesn't even look anything it just flashes like truly ghostly if it flies in front of the camera it's just like a blurry th- apparition flies in front and sometimes it happens when you're watching and your thing. baby sleeps in a kitchen fridge right There's tons <laughs> of fruit flies <laughs> everywhere at a restaurant thing. yeah what about you if you get free you said you slept facing the door after hereditary if you uh, hear a noise do you check on it or like i'm uh it depends, man. You pull it out depe- a gun right now. <laughs> I'm always packing. <tagging. laughs> it depends. I don't. No, I'm not. I'm not really like the checking type, man. I, I, I if I hear it, you know I'll what? just like hope and go to sleep. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? A friend of mine's a flight attendant, and the pilot one time, and she's like a long haul flight attendant, like from Dubai to New York type of thing. Yeah. So it's like 15 hour flights. The captain once she was on a flight accidentally called the like we're gonna crash into the ocean noise. So like. Beep, 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 416 or whatever it was. Like the code for horrible things going to happen. And so she woke her friend up and she was like, the captain just said, we're going to crash into the water. You may want to like brace for impact. And her friend just went, I'd rather die sleeping. And went back to sleep. And that is your story right there. Yeah. Like, I hope I hope the pilot figures it out. It's basically it, yeah. I just, I, I just go to sleep and just like fuck you know, and then, but, but just sleep. i wake up then i guess it was nothing it's huh. un- it, it was unsolved yeah exactly. <laughs> an unsolved ghost in the house yeah right, let's take sleep. a break and we'll be back talking with the pilot riverdale developed by roberto aguirre sacasa based on the archie comics original air date january 26 2017 The series follows Archie Andrews' life in the small town of Riverdale and explores the darkness hidden behind its seemingly perfect image. Everyone is very horny. The show has done six seasons and 96 episodes, and has been spun off into two other Archie comics shows. Again, everyone is very horny. Oh! Riverdale! Riverdale! Had you seen Riverdale? Either of you? Have you ever seen it? You have seen it before this? No. Never seen it? No. No, I've never seen it either. Uh, I believe that we did watch it. I think we actually watched a few. I don't know if we watched the entire first season. You had seen this pilot before, though. Yes, I had. Oh, I did not expect that at all. Yeah, I would think that for a minute I was excited about uh, Archie, which is something I did read, as we established previously, being uh, adapted for TV. And I think I even liked... Here's something I will reveal. Pulls out his dick. It's... Ar- it, Archie's it's based off of what you yes, were talking it's about the Archie comics you didn't know that no dude what the <laughs> fuck <laughs> you were like this, he does a four minute tangent about Archie comics you're like who gives a shit <laughs> yes, yes, that's Archie. what I was thinking I was like 
Oh, no, it's no based way. on those comics. Yeah, I yeah. didn't know this. It's yeah, sexy man. Archie. It's oh, sexy. My and the God. whole point of this thing is that Archie is a very wholesome 50s chocolate shop comic. And this is the, uh, the raunchy teen version. And I did years ago have an obsession with that. Like there was all this uh, like parody uh, YouTube videos or parody fanfic like pilots out there where they would take something like Archie and make the this version of it and I was into those so when this was coming out I thought that I, I was like this is gonna be good I like yeah this. like that Fresh Prince of Bel-Air like it's super dark yeah OG. that's that key and, P P and oh, now they're making it okay yeah yes right and it's like those things I was like this is but I liked the parody versions of it that were like tongue-in-cheek and this I don't think there's any tongues in cheeks well there's some kissing tongues <laughs> yeah i guess that's i didn't know that yeah i i didn't know till tonight uh, maybe i'm wrong because i never read archie i imagine Arch, archie to kind of be a lovable nerd or like a loser yes is he not in the comics he is oh, okay because this dude they're like this is the hottest guy in the world yeah well that's the thing about archie right is he is kind of the seth rogan of the 30s and 50s 40s 50s here because he's like the everyman he, he, he's poor uh his uh he has the worst car of all the friends he is klutzy. He's, you know, meanwhile, Reggie's rich and this person's rich. And this, but and yet Betty and Veronica both love oh, him. Oh, in the comics, they had a crushes on him, too. It's a three. It's a love triangle from the past 70 years. Whoa. It's the, and it's like, this guy gets all the girls. Wait, why doesn't Reggie get with Bubba? Because that's Bubba, what Bubba? I was so surprised with this. It's like the first time we meet Archie. Yeah. He's shirtless with abs. That, he's like 18 or But 19. that's the whole thing of this. It's like. It's CW. Yes. And, and it's same like, with her. The first, but like the first time we meet Betty, she's topless. in a bra. The next time we meet him, I'm like. Oh, this show is like, we're going to make you horned up to watch this thing. Like, they knew right away what they were getting into. Uh, I, and then, like, yeah, he's cat. He's on the football team. He's a musician. He's <laughs> Yeah. It, it, okay, so it starts, okay, the episode starts with some narration. So there's a narrator talking about how this, their lives will never be the same after what happened with the twins on the boat. So did that happen in the comics as well? None of this is from the... It's only, like, based on the characters. And there's a few Easter eggs of, like, when they meet Smithers. And you're like, oh, because that's her butler in the comics. So in the comics, you have that's Veronica, so funny. who's very rich. Betty, who's the girl next door. What's oh, I was just going to say, like, when I saw the Smithers, like, Smithers. I'm like, you name your kid. I was thinking about you. I'm like, if you name your kid Smithers, that's, he's destined for a life of service. There's What's always the people with... There's always people you meet with, like, old names how can you hey, name a baby like gerald or, or, you're destined to yeah like, fulfill that you're prophecy. just old when you're born like, oh, this is my baby agatha <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. So, yeah do, wait so yeah it starts it opens up with these two twins yeah that are like on this excursion and they're like then they're holding hands now i don't have a twin sister but is that common at 17 years old to be holding your twin's hand it's, walking around town? it's cool for sure <laughs> is it cool <laughs> so Already this thing is, it's coming at from like, not only is this a horned up teen version of Riverdale, but it's also a mystery right from the get go. Yes. Our lives will never be the same after this, uh, what happened down the water, uh, Sweetwater River, dumb river name. Uh, <laughs> I had to ask Ian. I think I know what you're going to say. And yeah, I've had a lot of friends drown. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my wife is from the West Coast, and she was like, this is obviously, it's filmed in Vancouver, but... Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No way. And she was in saying... In your house? <laughs> <laughs> the entire was, show? Yeah, yeah, the show's okay. all filmed wow. there. And what she was saying is, like, it's ostensibly Riverdale is where this is, but it, this town could exist nowhere but Vancouver. It's like, of everything that's shot in Vancouver, and there's lots of stuff shot there, this embraces... It shows all the, the visual, forest, the water. The water it, was, it made the me mountains. homesick. For the, That's so what I was going to ask. Did, did she get, get homesick, homesick watching it? No, she hates it there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Of the course she loves it very much. First time I've watched, you know, I lived here 10 years. And I, 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 this is home to me now too. That, that's home in my heart, but this is like home where yeah. I live. But this, today I was like watching this. I was like, this makes me want to go home. What, what, can you tell the story of during the uh, Vancouver Olympics when you flew back? What was that story? <laughs> well, earlier in the show when I said that I was an alcoholic this doesn't exactly help that story. <laughs> uh i was in bc at the time i just left uh uvic there university of victoria and then i was living here it was my first year living here and i was super depressed because i had no friends there and mm. facebook had kind of like was at its peak you were living in bc living here okay. but i'd left uvic yeah and, and you're living in toronto living in toronto and like all my friends from residence 
decided to go live in together and they're like posting it, posting shit down on Facebook because it was cool to post on then still. Everyone's showing all their nights out. So I'm super homesick. And mm-hmm. I, I used to go home a fair bit. That's why I asked because you said, he, uh, I was like, is this a homesick thing? Yeah. But so back then I used to go all the time. And then, uh, yeah, I left. I came here for three days, went to a bar on King Street to watch the, the gold medal game for hockey. Mm-hmm. And I start drinking these uh, Molson Cooler. I don't even know if they sell them anymore. They're like little skinny drinks <laughs> i drink so much i'm like if they win i'm hopping on a plane i'm going back to bc everyone's like yeah just like these like 50 old guys at the bar i'm like 19 <laughs> like, it's like 3 p.m in the afternoons so all my friends are in school i'm like alone there anyway they win so i take I, this, this is like i call my aunt who's a flight attendant i'm sorry a flight uh travel agent yeah she books me the flight this is before our canada.com was was in vogue <laughs> and i take a taxi I would run home, grab like a, just a backpack worth of shit and then take it to say hi to my roommate. I'm like, I'm going to BC. <laughs> You've been here three days. It's been visiting. here three days. I, I, I fly to BC. By the time I get there, it's so late. It's like 1130 at night. My right. friends are like coming down off the celebratory drunk. The streets are still crazy and everyone's high-fiving and stuff, but it, I for sure missed the bulk of the party. And you probably sobered up somewhere over Over Saskatchewan, yeah. dude. And uh, <laughs> I knew it was a bad idea. You're like, I don't want to go anymore. At the airport too, at like people were like, you're going last minute. And like they were treating me like I was a hero. But then, yeah, over Saskatchewan, I'm like, what am I doing? That was two days ago. I remember calling my mom the next day. You wake up on a futon at my friend's house in New Westminster. Um, and I and I, I remember like that feeling of like, wow, I had no idea when I woke up yesterday, I'd be waking up in BC today. Yeah. And I called my mom and I just remember, I'm like, mom, I'm in BC again. And I remember like a sigh. (laughs) This kid just wasted so much money. (laughs) And yeah, I mean, I don't know why you made me tell that story. I was just thinking about you being homesick and like if the same thing kind of happened when you're watching Oh yeah, I'm flying home tonight (laughs) and I'm watching Riverdale. (laughs) Somewhere over Saskatchewan and be like, wait a minute, that show wasn't even that good. (laughs) Wait a minute, yeah. (laughs) That wasn't even where I'm from. (laughs) There's no rivers. Uh... I remember um, similarly when the Raps won, we were downtown at a bar when the Raps won at all. And everyone were like, we're going downtown. We're going down to uh, Dundas Square. And it was, was crazy. crazy. It was crazy. You were out there. To, the I wasn't out there. I, I was just looking from the window. So we were going down there. <laughs> and you closed the blinds. <laughs> Turned we your back to your girlfriend. <laughs> it was, you were scared. But facing the, the door. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, they're going to come in. Yeah. And I remember go, walking down that, uh, that the street. We were walking down Bloor. We walked all the way. From like Oswington to uh, Dundas Square. And it's like everyone's honking. There's people. The group we're in is growing over time. And some people were like, we're just going to skip all the way down there. Skip? So we, well, we take the subway. Oh, I thought you meant like, all, like, there like 400 people skipping at once. Like that must have been the sight to see. And I just remember like similarly when you're talking about all the honking and everything. I was yeah. like, there's nothing there. It's the same as this. So we're like, going to go down there. We're going to kill someone. <laughs> like, we got there <laughs> like, eventually what? over time. And it was like the journey of it was the entire thing. Yeah. Like, hey, it, that's a metaphor for life, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> that's as hey. good as it gets. You, you just try to race to the end, man. Uh, okay, so thanks for telling that story, and that was uh, that was illuminating. Hey, thanks, man. It really made me rethink my finances the last ten years. <laughs> so we meet some of the characters, uh, and these are all Archie characters. So we meet in order. We see first. We see we hear Jughead doing the uh, narrative. I didn't know Zach that was going to be Jughead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cole yeah, Sprouse. Cole Sprouse. Yeah, yeah. That him. Yeah. I was he the less like cute one of the Sprouses? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think, I think he was. I mean, they're equally cute. No, they, 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 they were twins, but one of them was better. Do the twins hold hands? No, no. no. <laughs> Zach was the better, cooler one. <laughs> so that, so if you're listening, Cole, fuck you. <laughs> we're taking out Tom Holland on this podcast. We're taking out the Cole Sprouse. I think Cole's the cooler one now through Riverdale. I, you know I what? Yeah, being in Vancouver yeah, yeah. and seeing signs around saying like Cole Sprouse eats here free. They had like a Kawhi thing going Actually? with them. Yeah. He's got a funny uh, Instagram where it's called like, uh, I don't remember what it is. It's like first draw, but essentially it's him trying to take picture of fan. He takes pictures of fans yes. before they can take pictures of him. Yeah. yeah and it's yeah. actually pretty funny. I think this dude might be legitimately funny. I don't know anything about him outside of the show. Yeah. But uh, it's a pretty funny premise. So we meet him. We meet uh, uh, Betty. Kevin, who I don't remember. I don't think Veronica. Who's supposed to be the new kid is like normally in every movie I've ever seen the new kid is nervous. She's like the most confident person yeah, in the world. Yeah, she's next. And that speaks to 
her in the comics, like she's uber rich. So the Lodges are this super rich, like billionaire esque family. So she's got that. And there's this dichotomy between her and uh, Archie's got this old jalopy that's also breaking, always breaking down. And uh, the Lodge, her her dad is always like, why you got to be around that idiot Archie? Wah, wah. Um, right but if she's her dad is her dad a criminal in the comments as well uh well i probably all people that rich are criminals in some fashion <laughs> yeah. but uh not outwardly like this where he's in jail or something like uh in this one yeah so then who do we meet betty's topless kevin then we see archie for the first also, time also he's got to be on juice he, no, I don't think so. You don't think so? No, no. I think I, I, it's pretty attainable. That <laughs> that's man. attainable. I because I think it's just very cut. He's really, really cut. Lucas, I've been working out for ten years. So maybe it's just me being something like, no, that's juice. And you tell me it's attainable. You lift I, up your shirt right now. You're more jacked than Archie. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Okay, I'm the third one. You took out Sprouse, Tom Holland, and now it's me. What do you guys think of? Uh, so, uh, uh, Kevin tells Betty, okay, it's time. We agree on it. You're going to ask out Archie. You're going to make your dream come true of loving Archie. That girl's a snake, man. The, Which one? The, the dark hair one. Whoa. <laughs> what a snake. You're calling out everybody. <laughs> yeah, no, no. But really, though. And like... so re- Go go ahead. So, so she walks yeah. in. So Betty's just about to ask Archie that they let's talk about us as a couple. And Veronica walks into the chocolate shop. And there's a needle drop. There's a music plays. There's a lens flare yeah. going across this thing. And I love that Betty is just sound down completely they just drown her out and she's watching the slow motion thing what did you think of that uh introduction <laughs> I, I think we heard lucas uh... i thought she might be a witch because i like yeah, that's that what i thought show. i thought she was... <laughs> i was like oh maybe it's a sabrine i realized at that moment i don't know anything about archie <laughs> dude that was so weird she's I, wearing the hood yeah the and then she's like that? i'm from new york i was like oh that's just how they tell a new york big city is like which there's a line i wrote down right there that speaks to the poorness of the dialogue of the show where the, like so much of it is filler like it feels like so much of the dialogue is just trying to make the page like almost like turning the font up and she gets there and she says uh is there an order for the lodges and the owner says almost ready but you gotta wait it's just saying the same thing right. twice. Like, just almost ready. Like, time. why would you say you got to wait if it's almost ready? Obviously, it is. Well, I feel yeah, like this almost show... Ready, but you got to wait. Try, I mean, there's a million Nearly examples done, in it. But where, you just sit tight. Where they try to, fun. like, make you like this. They're like, do you like sexy, <laughs> topless people? Oh, do you like, like, this exact, this punch-in yeah. of this witch-like thing? They've got, like, every... They touched on everything to try and, like, hook you. And clearly, I guess, the show blew up, so it must have worked. Yeah. But some of that comes with, I guess, a little bit of uh, expositional dialogue. So we meet Archie's dad, played by Luke Perry. All right. Oh, is that Luke Perry? Yeah. All right. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah. It's funny because Luke Perry was in a teen show, 90210. And now it's just interesting to think of him when he was on that teen show and what he looked like. And now, like, truly, his face is like canyonous. He looked weathered. He's so weathered. I only knew him from the Tarantino movie. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? That's the only thing you know Luke Perry from? I didn't see it. Yeah, that. it was because it was a little bit before my time, that 90210. Sure, I was too yeah, young I mean, for that. Mine too, but... But, yeah, yeah, that's the only thing I ever knew him from. So then seeing him, like... Because in, in that, he still kind of looks like a leading man. They've got him, like, all cowboyed up. So then But that's this, after this. Yeah, I had no idea that this... Yeah, the, 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 right. that same guy, that same actor. I've seen that movie, like, three or four times. Yeah, you're obsessed with that Crazy. movie. Oh, <laughs> obsessed. Hey, there, here's an interesting thing. Archie, at some point, is talking to Reggie in the hallway. And they're talking about whatever. And Archie says, yeah, here's the, here's one for your wank bank, he says. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> I say wank bank? Yeah. That's like a British, like, wank. It's spank um, bank here. Some of my friends say that. Is it spank that. bank? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a, like a spank bank. Yeah, yeah, spank bank, but not wank bank. Some people say that, too. I've wank heard bank that. here? Yeah, yeah, I've heard that. Are they British? No, they're not British. I've it's heard like, it, though. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Do they eat bugs? <laughs> it's a Danny. It's Danny. It's a Danny. <laughs> Oh, I thought that was only a British thing, and it made me uh, irresponsibly I had, uh, mad. I had read a story that Lily L- Reinhardt, who yeah. plays Betty, uh-huh. in this story, she talked about how she moved to L.A., and she'd been there six months and hadn't booked anything and was thinking about giving up when she booked Archie. And I was like, six months? <laughs> You're giving up after six months, and then you book a show that pays you a couple million dollars a year? I'm like... <laughs> Uh, I'm not too sad for your Hollywood story here. <laughs> I think it worked out pretty good, Lily. Uh, so uh, we go through the pilot a little bit, and uh, Archie is into music. I hated this. Every, <laughs> every time he would say, like, because my he... thing is music, 
people who are in bands or songwriters, they don't say music so much. They, like he said the word music way too many times. I got to focus on music. Say you're writing songs, call yourself a songwriter, say something other than just music over and over. Well, wasn't it kind of, and I haven't seen High School Musical, but wasn't it the same plot where like, isn't that Zac Efron giving up his NBA stardom to become a music, like to go That's into the play? only thing they could show. Because um, this anything. was like, you I don't want to play football. Because it's like he's a football music. player and yeah. the thing. Yeah. yeah. And, and I, I was think like, think they're the, ripping the... off the most popular show ever. Yeah. Like that. Or not show ever, but like teen show. It's... It made me so mad, this music thing. And then they asked to choose. And then we see the music teacher, Miss Grundy, who, for you two who don't know this, in the uh, uh, comics is a, like, 90-year-old teacher. Jesus. She's so and very in this old. One, she's, and in this she's one, hot. she's attractive, yeah. blonde. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now that this, I'm glad this came up because this is the whole thing. This, the, the, they reveal that Archie's been sleeping with the teacher over yes. the summer. <clears throat> this teacher's a pedophile. That, dude, that's what I... That's what I said. Because he's I 17. Said, yes. She's a, she, he's a high schooler. By trade. Yes. A pedophile. Yes. I don't care how hot they made her. Yeah, yeah. I kept thinking, I'm like, if this was the exact gender role different. Well, but, yeah. but that was in a show at the same time with uh, uh, Pretty Little Liars or whatever, where it's like the teacher is a guy sleeping with the girl. There's I didn't thing see that. around this. That's the same thing? Yeah. But also both shows play it as like. The it's hot. Not even that it's hot. Like the teach, they are aware it's wrong. The teacher saying no one can know about this because I will be going to jail. Going the girl, jail. the woman says, I'm she doing says, my job. So yeah. it's not like they're just r- rushing over. Oh, this. Jesus, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I thought that was one of those amber. That nuke was coming. No, no, that sounds like a nuke alarm. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like anything about that. Are you good on time? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, so it's not, it's not as though it was like. Just brushed over the like that's the Wait, point. Wait, you're defending of it. this a little. I feel like you may have had an affair with a teacher or two. <laughs> I fucked most of my teachers. Then you go to the old boys. <laughs> but anyway, th- th- that is on uh, on Pretty Little Liars. Uh, so not only did they steal High School Musical plot, they, they took a little bit pretty, of little, pretty, pretty Little, little liars. liars. They take it from everywhere. But the, here's the thing about Miss Grundy for me: this hot Miss Grundy or like nine year old hot Miss Grundy <laughs> is she, we only know that she's a teacher because they say Miss Grundy on over and over. If you swap her with any of the other leads, it's the they're all the same age. <laughs> well, that was like Glee. Corey Monty, the lead yeah. on Glee, was the same age. I think he was two years younger than Mr. The, the, teacher? the teacher. Yeah, she looked really young. But also, she's eye-locking. Every scene she's in, <laughs> she's staring at this kid. I'm like, you're going to get caught. And also, like, there's those scenes. There's, like, those parts where, like, Archie just looks at someone and, like, for example, if we're looking at each other, yeah. right? We're eating dinner together. Yeah. And someone, and you're looking at someone else. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. This girl doesn't look every time. <laughs> she just sits there staring at Archie. And Archie looks completely different direction and she's just staring at him. Doesn't stop. That's how much he's drawing. He's so yeah, it doesn't, he's dude. Medusa. <laughs> No one can take their eyes oh off his beautiful God. Australian abs that are attainable, apparently. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, this Grundy so thing. Uh, uh, was uh, the old Grundy in your spank bank or your wank <laughs> bank? No, no. She was in my uh, uh, Frank bank. <laughs> That's uh, when I just need someone to be very Being serious frank and with? very clear with She's me. like, you, you got to go to college. Yeah. <laughs> the music thing's not going to work out. Don't call it music. It's songwriting. Uh, <laughs> also, wait, the, the most authentic thing in this whole show is when he's like, you gotta, to the teacher he's sleeping with, he's like, you gotta help me out. You went to Juilliard. And I'm like, that's honest, because a degree in theater, even if it's from Juilliard, from a guy who is studying theater, is only good for teaching. Yeah, yeah. you went to Juilliard. You're gonna be my thing. She's like, yeah, I went to Juilliard. You went Look to the me. hardest school in the world. I'm in Riverdale. Into. I'm fucking a kid. You're making $35,000 <laughs> a year as a teacher in Riverdale. You think that I... <laughs> Oh. oh yeah, exactly. She's probably got all this pen up angst from spending two hundred thousand dollars on a New York education. I'd fuck, I'd fuck students too. So uh, that's the other thing. Uh, about wait, I don't want to have that on the record. I'd fuck adult students <laughs> as a professor of a university. That's the thing about Archie that it makes me so mad. Is the whole point of this thing that Archie, the character, is he's this uh, fuck up that everything kind of works out for. And this, it's so. The teacher is just like, th- when they show the teacher, I almost want a gif of it. When they show the teacher, when he has the flashback to when he sleeps with her. I couldn't tell if it was fantasy because that's how crazy She's the driving by is. the flashback. She's wearing the heart glasses, drinking a Slurpee, staring. Who's even driving a that Slurpee. car? In slow motion, driving, staring at him and like, oh, there's that Archie. I got to fuck that kid. <laughs> And then they have sex in a beetle, dude. <laughs> like, how do you, like, you know, a like car's that. hard enough. And Danny. Then, Danny. Yeah, dude, like, holy shit. Yeah, and a car, and then, and then they have sex at 6 a.m. by a pond. I'm like, 6 a.m.? A uh, pond? 
Dude, that was sweet water. No River. food breath. Like the whole <laughs> thing, dude. Is that like, an up all night? Or yeah. is that like you wake up early and just drive to the pond? So I looked at yeah, it. Yeah, eye crust. Like, dude. Eye crust. Oh, Rockland, you'll hey, like this. I doubt it. This show, for a show that's like meant for teenagers, yeah. essentially, it has so many references, including a couple Madman references. Okay, so I actually hated this reference. But you, every show you talk about Madman. Yeah, but Listeners I. Listeners have written in saying we haven't seen Madman. No, I, I, this is what I said out loud when it happened. When she said, this is very better Dra Betty Draper season one. Yeah. I said, get her name out of your fucking mouth. Whoa. <laughs> Don't talk about good shows on a bad show. He's obsessed with Madman. You know what the other thing too is? This show made me so fucking mad. I'm just going to spoil. This is what took you over the on. edge. I shouldn't have brought it up. <laughs> I forgot how much I hated the show until you just said that. They said a bunch of, they, first of all, they got shit wrong. At one point she said, uh, very Queen Bay. It's Queen B, Beyonce. It's spelt is like it? Bay. It's Bayhive, isn't it? It's Bay. It's Beehive. And, and that'd be like if they said uh, very Megan the Stallion. Just because it's spelled a certain way doesn't mean you're an idiot if you say it that way. Here's the other thing. How is Megan the Stallion? It's Megan the Stallion. It's Megan the Stallion. No, it's Megan the Stallion. No, it's, it's supposed to not. be. That's her thing. No, it's not. Lucas? I have no clue. Just uh, uh, watch her on Hot Ones this week and she, she just says it. Megan really? I thought that's why she put the two E's. No, no, no. She put the two E's. It doesn't matter. It's just I'm defending the Riverdale writers <laughs> on this one. Another one. Here's something that made me mad earlier. She comes in and she's like, how's your thing going so far? And she goes, oh, are you familiar with Truman Capote? Because oh, uh, I remember that. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm Breakfast at Tiffany's and this place is in cold blood. I'm like, you could have just said the reference. You could have said, I'm Breakfast at Tiffany's, this is in cold blood. But you had to remind people. But I was also like, people don't know, this you, is though. Truman Capote. Nobody watching this show knows those references. Then why do it? Because they got Mad Men, they got a Blue Jasmine, a Woody Allen reference it's, in there. I'm like, they're all the, were, were, the, were the writers as old as the real Mrs. Grundy or whatever? That's the problem with all of the writing. <laughs> like, oh, this reminds me of It's a Wonderful Life, the Christmas movie from the 1930s. Dude, it was a bad show. They should have been representing. <laughs> it was a bad show. That thing sucked. Holy cow! They had a faux lesbian kiss. That's part of it. I'm like, they make that... Brittany and Veronica kiss in the first. I'm like, they're trying to hook us with anything they want. Dude, that like... scene after sucked. <laughs> when she was like, what, what was it? When she was like, uh, you got where's the fire? And yeah. she's like, well, I'm the queen of ice. Yeah. Dude, like, dude, that was you know so that was shit. they took a little Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh my god! Like, what else did we take? Oh, dude, that part sucked. The music was from <laughs> Friday Night Lights. The music was like piano. It the, didn't the have... music was very... Wow, I didn't think about that. The whole that time, I'm like... so much like oh, Friday Night Lights. Oh, had to be influenced. I mean, if not blatantly stolen. Dude, I didn't think it's about that. It's all piano. That. Yeah, and, and it's yeah, that yeah, exact, yeah. like, do, do, like... It's truly Friday Night Lights, time. like, music. I think this show, they just were like, maybe it's genius because it did well. They, you guys hate it, but I'm like, eh, I kind of respect it. They stole every popular show, put it in the one, and like, ah, who gives a shit if it makes any sense? Uh, uh, Rockland. Yeah. I don't know if you remember, when we drove down to LA uh, a few years ago, I remember there was this Mike Posner song. That they played like, it in this. Yeah. I heard it. If they play it at the... Uh... I'll play a little clip right now. <laughs> Yeah. And essentially, it's a song about sleeping with women in every city in the U.S. And you kept getting me to play it at like 6 a.m. He, he thought it was a stupid song. Yeah, and I, went, I said, play Fuck It in Detroit. Yeah, you couldn't remember what it was called. And, <laughs> and I, in the background of the dead, sure enough, that song was playing. I thought of you like, when of it played, Of course, that song was playing. I thought of you, too. I think this should be, I think you should love this show. No other show is going to give you Mad Men references and fucking in Detroit in the background. <laughs> I hated this fucking You hate show. this like you hate my maid. Aren't you? <laughs> She's your soulmate. <laughs> Obsessive. She's a completionist like you, dude. Here's what I'll say in defending the show. Betty and Veronica are doing a good job with, I think everyone has bad material to work with. I think it's poorly written. I think that the writers are trying to have their cake and eat it too by trying to like be, hey, this is a, we're, this is a parody of, uh, of teen stuff and mm. we're lampshading it. And when they do the faux lesbian kiss, she says, "Full lesbian kisses are so yeah, out. they call it they, out, like, but still, they horned us up by but having it's it in. Still there, and it still sucks. But I think that Lily Reinhardt and uh, what was the point of just the show to, of the kiss? Just to be, I think it was just to turn on the audience. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're like, oh, you want you could add this to the spank bank. Yeah, Wait, there was no other reason. Did it make sense? Oh, I was shank sure. bank. Then that, get, I had that in prison. Shank bank. Bank. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my roommate <laughs> so came to that. <laughs> Uh, th there was an amazing line where she's just like, uh, my parents claim this is the song that I was conceived to. Yeah. I'm like, claim? Like, what? <laughs> you're calling out your parents for lying? Why are they even telling you about this fucking night they were fucking? <laughs> that was weird, too. Also, it was weird because the Josie and the Pussycats band 
made such a big deal about how they wouldn't take Archie's song because they only play their original music. And then first thing we ever see oh, them play, yeah. it's like, okay, they're going to play this cover that my parents fucked to. The, I have two questions for Ask you them. guys. I, but I the first one is, that, and it, it's, prefa- it's, 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 it's prefaced by this. Prefaced? Archie, what are you, Megan Thee Stallion? Point, <laughs> <laughs> Archie like, has a moment at the dance with the teacher he's sleeping with where yeah. he walks over to the punch and like takes some punch <laughs> and sips it. But it like it's such a it only makes sense if it's alcohol, which it's not, because it's a high school <laughs> dance, and he's like sipping from this, having a meaningful conversation, and puts it down. I'm like, this doesn't work if that's just punch. You loser! <laughs> you're drinking Sprite. That shows that you're a kid. Sprite Fruitopia mix. Yeah, you're, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like that's how I know this girl, this, is a, this woman's a pedophile. <laughs> and, but then the kid, it shows the the bad like football player guy spiking the punch with out of a flask from alcohol. I'm like. Yeah. No 17-year-old is sneaking booze into a, ball, a fucking dance to give it away to everyone else for free. I got a, I got, I got a punch story. A it's punch just, story? Yeah. From, uh, I think it was like grade four, maybe grade five. Me and my buddy. Got punched chuckles. in the face <laughs> at a dance. We made a drink. We made a drink. It was Sprite and Jello mix. That uh, kind of, sounds kind of amazing. And we, we, we uh, for Valentine's Day, we were like, this is love potion. So we told my uh, teacher, we asked my teacher if we could bring this drink to class. Mrs. Grundy. <laughs> Grundy. <laughs> and uh, he was like, yeah, he was a cool teacher. It must have been grade five. Uh, Mr. Beatty. Um, Shout out to Mr. Beatty if you're listening. And uh, we were like, hey, can we do this? And he's like, yeah, 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 that's fine. And I think we were able to like- He allowed leave. you guys? Yeah, it was really cool. And he, I think we were even able to go to like, uh, maybe it was even a staff room and get it set up. And Mr. Beatty put alcohol in <laughs> <laughs> He's like, he's grade five. So eight years old in grade five? How old are you in grade five? But I remember, this is something I just remembered when you said the punch thing, is I remember, I think my mom was delivering the ingredients to the school and I was getting very anxious. I'm an anxious guy. I don't like being titillated or suspense. So I was getting anxious that it was like... You always had this. Taking too long. Oh, yeah. What if it was Mr. Beatty's little punch that made you anxious? <laughs> so then... <laughs> little nerve tonic. So then it got delivered and we got these things. And then I remember someone in the class... We, and we had been we had been gassing up this uh, love potion this with the secret ingredients this, all day. <laughs> and then someone like saw through the bag. And then when we were bringing it out, we're like, here's the potion. It's like strawberry uh, jello mixed with Sprite. Delicious. But we're like, have the bottles of it. And someone's like, what is it? And one kid was like, it's uh, Jello and Sprite. I saw through the bag. And I was like, no, no, no. You're like nervous. <laughs> I've been made. Yeah. I was like, like You're like the KFC like, recipe. There's other, there's, other re- there's other ingredients. <laughs> like there's other secret ingredients. You don't know what they are. I got news for you. There's if- fucking bugs in here, Danny. <laughs> if a kid offers me a drink that he made with ingredients. Nowadays, I'm not no drinking that kid. I'm not one kid. Like, whatever you... I'm like, this kid didn't wash his hands. Dude, every kid has dirt under their nails. Yeah. My kid, I not notice that. Nothing a kid makes out yeah. I Yeah. When I take my kid's socks off, I, I smell them, them and I pretend they're stinky and I go, stinky, and he laughs. And today I did one sock and I was like, stinky, and he laughed. And then the other sock he had thrown up on, it fucking oh, stank for real. <laughs> you're like, I was like, stinky. Oh, oh my God. What if you're like building trauma though that he thinks his feet are going to stink so now bad? Now I'm never going to do it again. I was like, this fucking stink. Are you worried about that? What if now, because he's got these little imprint memories of that, he's going to think he's got the stinkiest feet in the world. He's I want him his to feet think eight his, tons a day. his body he wants clean feet. Yeah. <laughs> you want a kid with clean feet, a, a grown son. A grown son. Who can't wear shoes. He's laughing. Because he's, he's walking laughing. around in like uh, buckets of uh, ice filled with <laughs> jello and Sprite and soap. He needs it. That 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 sock stunk today. Okay, wait, but I have a, I have a, I have a question for you. I'm you guys, dying you guys, here. You guys go to high school dances ever? Yes, absolutely. You did. 100% exclusively. You did? You never did? No. Didn't like to go? Mm, it, didn't. it was like the Raptor spread. You looked out your window and went, <laughs> no. Nope. Yeah. I was on no. the student union, so I had to be there, ostensibly. That's what did I you, dan- were you, where, where did you go? Uh, I'm from Alberta, so I'm from a very small town. Oh, Alberta, okay. 8,000 so you- people. No way. Yeah, so. And you were on the, you were like school president type of thing? I wasn't president uh, or vice president. I think I was. Like a Steve Bannon type? You know what? Is I think that they made one for me, uh, a role. That's kind of sick. Though. Like I, a participation ribbon. <laughs> but I You're think not it, the president, <laughs> but you get to wear this. Because I wasn't treasurer. I wasn't any of those things, but I was on it for two years. The, the last two years. No, the middle two years. I didn't do it in grade 12. But, uh, uh. I don't know what my role was, but I was certainly on it. So, sure, sure. That was like me. I was probably on the basketball team too. 
I don't remember if I was the captain, but I had to have been there. In my memory, I'm in there always. And in their memory of student union, I'm like looking through the window. <laughs> yeah, banging on the You're like the weird kid. You're the kid who eats bugs. <laughs> my buddy was on student union for real. And, you know, there's privileges that come with that. Not very many. But you would have to do certain things and set up for certain things. And... Uh, there's no way he's listening to this, but some friends of his are. But at one time, we had like a pretty classic English teacher, like one of those guys who's uh, was tough, he from England? But fair. Yeah, he says that would wank be a bank. classic English teacher by definition. <laughs> but it, so he English definitely teacher, had a wank bank. Though. He had a yeah, wank not bank. a spank bank. <laughs> he had a. I was trying to think of a literary. He had a whatever joke. Uh, but this is like a classic guy from television right like a movie english teacher where he's like teaches you lessons and he's tough but fair but he didn't really get along with my one buddy and this guy was doing something for student union i think it was even like putting away chairs and he came back late to class came to class late and the teacher was like you you're not you didn't have an excused absence and i was like yeah i did i was on student union he might have been like me not official and he's like well that's not an excused absence and the guy's like fine so he just didn't come to class ever again didn't get that english credit didn't graduate whoa be just because of that one altercation this guy is richer than anyone i know <laughs> he is now he's yeah. to be rich yeah i didn't graduate either I, I, until after until I, after it took me a long time to graduate lucas just pulled out ten thousand dollars <laughs> <laughs> see that's what i'm saying success comes from not graduating no that's not the list no but I didn't, I didn't mean it like that I just meant that I wanted to relate to it by saying yeah, yeah. I didn't graduate either it <laughs> sucks dude when everyone graduates I didn't even yeah. go to the graduation really I couldn't go I you couldn't, couldn't go. go and not be called up man can you imagine <laughs> yeah. dude that sucks they call up everyone except for you <laughs> to be fair mine's gonna come in the mail after mine's gonna come I think in they, yeah. they said something earlier to me <laughs> there's there 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 a mix up with names I think it's a scholarship Low thing yeah. I got too much money Come to think of it, I was captain of the basketball team. Guys, I was just in the washroom really quick, right around the L's. Uh, I, I, I probably missed it. You know what be worse, though? They do call you up and everybody boos. <laughs> Dude, that sucked, man. Yeah. Okay, and my second question. If you uh, guys, ask it. I'm ready. There was a spin the bottle scene. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, that one was. That brought me back. Did you guys ever go to a party with spin the bottle? This gave me, like, anxiety. Yeah. I don't know if I have false memories. But I was so scared of like my crush, like spin the bottle. I think about it being like, what if my crush gets my mortal enemy? And visualizing, I was trying to like spin? manifest using the secret my crush. And I, I don't even remember if I've ever played spin the bottle, but I have like oh, a yes. false memory of a of seven minutes in heaven in the closet, like they do in this with yeah. somebody. I don't know. I don't know if I. I don't know if I've just seen too many shows or if I've actually ever been in that situation. So that's why I pull out a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had parties with spin the bottle. You played that the game. Truth or dare was bigger though. Oh, Truth or Dare was bigger than me, too. And I was so scared of dares that I was just willing to tell the truth about anything. Because I knew a dare would be me kissing my crush. I couldn't handle that shit yet. Did you yeah. ever play it? Did yeah, you know? dude, I played... That's uh, why you couldn't graduate. You were playing that day. <laughs> too much. Uh, I was. I played Spin the Bottle um, at like this one high school party. And this one girl uh, that I thought was really... I was so fucking ugly in grade nine. Um, I was just really ugly. Fat. I, was, I was like chubby. I was bald. I was like, I had glasses. Yeah. I'm not describing you or anything. <laughs> I'm not, no, 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 no. By the no, no. fact that you I didn't said that. By the fact that I you didn't said that. No, because it sounded so much like I was. Yeah. I was no. You had a beard. You had a kid. <laughs> I smelled his socks. You were a completionist. You hated yeah, no. my cleaning lady. <laughs> oh my God. No, no, no. But I was like, it was so bad because I was, I was like. This guy says abs are attainable, calls you fat <laughs> on your own show. <laughs> No, that. this is body. Well, thing. I'm ready like to it. hear the rest of this story. <laughs> so, dude, I I was this the luckiest guy. Story no, no, it. dude, I, I I got this one girl that I thought was really attractive, and I got to kiss her. It fucking sucked for her though, because I was so ugly. So it was like the best day of my life, but the worst day of hers. <laughs> it was so bad. Uh, but yeah, that was it. It was no good. <laughs> that was it. Did you guys stay in touch? It, absolutely not. No, 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 no. I remember a truth or dare story from. I, this is so early. I it was like. Oh, I don't know what grade, but whatever grade it was, I remember I missed one of the, like, when they had this heyday, it had this peak. There was like a month of Truth or Dare and my grade being like, the, this is the hot big thing. And I remember there was one this birthday party <laughs> that I missed. So I wasn't there, but I heard all about this crazy Truth or Dare. And then the next one I was at, but I was 
ill prepared because they had already been warmed up by this first mm, they've been, that, yeah uh, they've like, been dared out uh, they little were, dares they, had already been they were dared, dared out so like i'm st- starting and it's like okay truth or dare and i'm like i you know i forget i have no idea what wimpy <laughs> dare i told someone to do and i was like okay and then the next person gets a dare and they're like flash everyone your dick and i was like holy shit <laughs> <laughs> stab like, peter <laughs> What the fuck happened? Flash right? everyone your dick. Yeah, so I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, I didn't... I wouldn't like that. <laughs> and I'm not saying I have a small dick, but, like, I wouldn't like that. <laughs> uh, okay, should we do final thoughts and whether we green light this? Yeah, yeah. Is there uh, anything else you want to talk about? No, I think... Uh, oh, one last little story. Okay. When Veronica comes home after betraying her friend and kissing Archie in yeah. the Seven Minutes of Heaven. Snake, yeah. Yeah, that's why you think she's a snake. 100%. Right. <laughs> she lays on her mom's uh her mom's like, tell me about the dance or whatever and lays she's like no i leg. just don't i just don't want to talk about it and lays in that reminded me so much of a memory i hadn't thought about since i was a kid oh, in yeah. grade three i had a crush on a on a girl uh, i had such a huge crush on her and the family dance was that night and What's i a, what, can you tell me what the family dance? i'm from was? a small town too so it was just a dance <laughs> but it was called the family dance but i like thought about this thing for weeks okay and it was like are you gonna ask her to the family dance who are you asking to the family dance are so you funny, gonna it's called the the punch all that <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly i bought a flask i was ready to get everybody <laughs> mr Beatty was there <laughs> <laughs> um and instead i went to a vernon vipers hockey game you didn't go to the family dance my godfather invited me that same night to the game and i was uh, like i'll go to the game to a what hockey a hockey game local my local town oh, hockey okay, game yeah and longtime listeners of the show know that I now <laughs> hate have a... fucking hockey players. <laughs> and I think we're finding out why this is like my therapy. And anyway, I cry during the game and I claimed, I went home and lied. And my mom's like, how was the game? And I burst out crying. Oh, I first question on my mouth was, oh, was uh, uh, Betty. Girl, uh, at the, yeah. at the, uh, that wasn't her real name, but that is for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was Betty, uh, her name was Veronica. Uh, <laughs> was Betty at the dance? And my mom's like, yeah, she was. And then I instantly start sobbing and crying. And my mom's like, what's wrong? And I just like laid on her lap and stared off like Veronica did. And I was like, there was just a lot of fighting at the game. And <laughs> but I think my mom knew why I was crying and there was no subtlety there. And watching this, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> there was just a lot of fighting. Took me back to the family so, day. So in any way, Ian's a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Earlier in the night, I talked about that the, and listeners like this guy's not waking up in the middle of the night to fight in the that whole story was bullshit this guy's just, crying in hockey games I don't games. know those hockey players are just so mean to each other <laughs> they're so mean and I didn't get a dance with them <laughs> okay right, but- final thoughts so what we do is we'll go around we'll give our final thoughts on the show and whether we would green light it by watching another episode that's okay. what that means uh, I'll go first and then you can go and you can go last uh, the show fucking sucks whoa red light boom succinct I agree. I don't think it's a good show. It sucks. You guys aren't gonna watch anymore. No, no, no. I, and, and like, and the ending. People would think that it's like enough to pull you back in. Fuck no, dude. <laughs> who shot that guy? I don't care. <laughs> good. I don't care who shot I'm that glad guy. he's dead. I hate the show. It sucks. I'm not watching it again. Ian. Well, that's, well, here's what I. You know what? I almost love how shamelessly they stole things from everything. Because even that last line after they show the bullet hole in the head, they're like, Jughead comes back on uh-huh. and he's just like, and in second period a week from now, the first arrest will be made. I'm like, they're even hooking us in with this. It films in Vancouver. <laughs> There's a chance I could audition. <laughs> I, I knew There's a chance this. the producers I, uh, of this could be listening yeah. to this. I did tear Letter Kenny hard <laughs> apart on that episode. I fucking love this show. Riverdale, <laughs> sign me up. I'm watching it all. I think it was the best written thing. And the casting director who ever cast this, probably beautiful. <laughs> Hot and Mrs. Grundy, green light. A legitimate, authentic green light. All right, we're going to take a quick break and come back with Game Corner. Game Corner. Welcome back to Game Corner. Game Corner. We're going to do a little bit of a different game today. What we're going to do is one of the kind where we work as a team. And how we're going to do it is we're going to go around. And uh, so as we've established, Archie, a wholesome, child-esque. Uh, child-esque? Uh, it's for children. That sounds like a of. pedophile defender. <laughs> yeah, the child-esque. He wasn't ch- child. He was child-esque. He was child-esque. He, he was a hot kid. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's this country's it barbaric... It was on Pretty Little Liars. That's what you kept saying. <laughs> You're, that, that's your precedent? Uh, that show. People <laughs> like that show somewhat. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to build... We're going to cast... Speaking of the beautiful, very intelligent casting director of Riverdale. Uh, yeah. We are going to act as the cast. And we are going to cast 
a version of uh, Superbad, which I'm taking as like a teen. Like Superbad is the Archie comic book. Yes. It's the old school and we're recasting it now. No, but what we're going to do is use childhood, what childhood uh, uh, thing. So in Archie, Archie's this lovable doofus. We like Archie. But now in this version, he's the he's ripped. He's uh, the sexed up, horned he's up. He's not Archie. ripped. He's attainably ripped. <laughs> so for this let's cast this guy's a, not eating carbs super bad we chose in the break what movie we're gonna do we're gonna do super bad and that makes sense teen kind of horned up movie it makes sense so we're gonna cast this movie recast it with childhood or like sex symbols <laughs> no the opposite so uh, give us an example okay this so is why i'll the start because i'm too dumb to understand I'll yeah, start. we're gonna hard. go counterclockwise it's not as hard as it sounds i'll start i only know digital clocks so, okay, we're going to go up from this okay. way. Yeah, okay, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to cast, the first is the Jonah Hill character in Superbad, Seth. He's the, he's got, uh, I guess there's nothing really horned up about him, but he's very horned up. He's a horny guy. Uh, terrible mouth on him, swears constantly. I never want to be described as not, like, not sexy, but horny. <laughs> but he's a horny guy. And we're going to cast, you know who we're going to cast in this is, we're going to cast Arthur. The Aardvark. Oh! So suddenly uh, we got Arthur. From the show Arthur. From the show Arthur. He's We're playing the role of Seth? And he, no, you know what? He's a bad Seth. I take that Because he's a cartoon? No, no, no. Because he's a cartoon. He seems more like one of the other characters. A we need a loudmouth. We need a loudmouth. Nelson Muntz from Simpsons. Oh, okay. He's going to be yeah, yeah, our... Yeah, that would be a good... I he's going to be that. our Jonah Hill. He's going to be our Seth. Uh, he's going to be our Seth in the new Superbad. Okay. So you got to do... Well, I'm recasting Michael Sarah. Mike, Mike Sarah. Michael Sarah. From a kid's show or something. That'd be funny that's... to catch Jesse Eisenberg. Because he's got like the same voice. <laughs> yeah, but don't just But do what it. if I was a big Jesse Eisenberg well, fan? You gotta do a character. A character like a cartoon? Yeah. And he's supposed to be like Michael Sarah. What would be a good cast? Like who could play, from my childhood TV shows, yes. who could play Mike Sarah in Superbad? Yeah. <laughs> I, I... I was going to say mine's, mine's going to be McLovin. Yeah. Okay. So you got to get ready. I know. I don't know. I'm just going to say. <laughs> uh, shoot. Who would I... What did I watch? Like, I only watched, like, Batman. Who's from Batman would be in there? Well, nobody. That's the conundrum I'm in right now in real time. Robin? Yeah, but he's not... He's not a Mike Sarah Robin. Mike Sarah in that movie. I, 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 I don't even remember why. I watched Sailor Moon as a kid, dude. Okay, so... I don't remember anything about it other than the fact that I was scared what of What about uh, uh, Tuxedo Mask? No, no, he's too cool. The problem is, I now I'm like trying to remember even what I watched. What did you watch? I watched Mrs. Doubtfire a lot. Okay. So you know what? I'm casting Michael Sarah as a uh, Mrs. Doubtfire as the brother and Mrs. The Bubby. I'm so happy. Yeah, Harry, Harvey Firestein. Harry Firestein. It's not good casting, but uh, I'm not very good at this game. So it's so we've got Nelson Muntz and Harvey Firestein. Uh, <laughs> this this movie is not making the money super bad. Right? Well, what I'm, I'll, I'll make sure and post it on our social media. Our fan cast here of Super Bad. So we've got Nelson, <laughs> Harvey Firestein, who, by the way, this movie's already in Two weeks. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What's a what's line that he says? Uh, I'm going to college in two weeks. I gotta go to college. <laughs> oh. Nah, this sucks. Okay, McLovin. Oh, that's hard, man. Because um, I just don't even know what I watched as a kid. What's something... You uh, watched Guys Eat Bugs? You yeah. watched The Devil Show? Danny, I'd cast Danny. <laughs> Danny, is Danny is a McLovin, for sure. That guy's got a fake ID that he's still using. Okay. Because uh, his parole officer won't let him out. So in our new version of Superbad, we've got Nelson Muntz. He's the bully version of Seth. And he's teaming up with Harvey Weinstein. And a guy who eats bugs. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk about it. <laughs> Not only eats bugs, but everyone walks around to find this guy eating bugs. Gotta find jewels. Yeah, Jules. Let's. I'll cast Jules. Emma Stone. Emma Stone. Emma Stone is Jules. Oh shit, we're doing a second round. I can bear. We can, we can yeah. even think anything from our childhood. We so watched too tough. many horror movies. <laughs> it was just Let's drama, put a horror man. Movie in. Let's do I it. was thinking about the family dance still, dude. Uh, Jules. Jules is the uh, love interest of Nelson Muntz. You can't just do all <laughs> Simpsons. No, I'm not going to do Simpsons. Oh, oh, you're, uh, I'm you're, just, setting, you're I'm setting it up. Who I this thought, is? Like Nelson had a love interest in The Simpsons? No, no, no. I sure at least in an episode, My Date with Density, season Density? five, episode three of Simpsons. Uh, I cast. Oh, you know who I cast? 
Speaking of Riverdale, someone from my childhood, TGIF, Sabrina, Melissa Joan Hart, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. That's Jules. I see we have two huge Sabrina fans from TGIF. Dude, I never saw it. Silence. I never saw never it. Never been a longer silence yeah. on this podcast. Yeah, this game, I wouldn't say this game's a hit. <laughs> Are any of the games a hit? No, not according to our audience so, so far. <laughs> and, and look, I wonder why. They're only hey. they're 40, 40 times longer than they need to be. Well, look, what the outcome of this is going to be one There's social media There's two more characters post. left. <laughs> yes. The cops. Yeah, but we got to do Becca. Yeah, let's do just do the cops. We'll skip Becca. First, the fun cop, the Seth Rogen cop. That's getting played by the only other guy I remember from my childhood. The guy on the infomercials for ITT Tech. And he's like, you spend all day on the phone anyway. Pick up the phone. You guys know this guy on TBS? Seen BC. <laughs> we got Fox Rochester. Yeah, I watched Fox Rochester. There was TBS. There was like, some listeners, some people out there would be bailing me out being like, I know the guy. Salino and Barnes. No, I didn't have that. Salino and Bonds. I didn't have that. That's on Rochester. No, no, I just, I, uh, I, I just know that song. I didn't know the song. I just know Salino and, and Barnes, Barnes, and then they split up. That's split the up. cops. But that would be funny. But I want my guy in there because I, I know some audience people listening are like, I know who he's talking about. He's not crazy. <laughs> the ITT Tech guy. Yeah. Okay, so now we have the nerdier cop played by Bill Hader. <clears throat> you got to do one more person. <laughs> Um, You're clearing the throat reminding me of my Harvey Firestein impression. <laughs> like he does a better one. Oh my god, dude! I don't know. I don't know. I'm what was on? Her. What was on when you were growing up? I don't, dude. I watched a lot of SpongeBob. I lost SpongeBob. Watch- Patrick. Patrick is Patrick a good one. would kill or Squidward. Squidward would be good. He's the for the cop. Yeah. Hell yeah! I want to see Squidward in there. Okay, so here's our fan cast. And by now, everyone is, uh, I know they're racing to our Instagram. In ultimate see. irony, we've lost all fans on this cast because of <laughs> this game. They're like, yeah, the first 90 minutes were really fun. Uh, look, <clears throat> everyone knows there's a game segment. We can't not do one. <laughs> <laughs> we can't end the podcast on a lull. Nelson. You better have a funny story to end this thing. <laughs> okay, I'll try and think of one. <laughs> I'll make one up. Uh, here's our fan cast of Superbad. We're we're rebooting Superbad. We have uh, in the leads Nelson Muntz and uh, and who did you say? I can't read my own writing. Oh, Harvey Firestein, the brother from uh, Mrs. Doubtfire, who helps him get into not disguise. to be confused with Harvey Weinstein, listeners. <laughs> I'm not casting that guy. No matter how hard Rockland defends him, <laughs> I didn't defend him. All I said is those kids were hot. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not what I said. I said they were on a show that made them seem... First of all, here, the other thing we didn't talk about, and, you know, frankly, I'm glad we didn't talk about it. How Everyone's so old when they're playing a teenager. It's fine. <clears throat> TJ, K, KJ Appa, though, he's young. I think he's, like, 20. He's just Australian, so he's, like, Jack. Like, I guess I, not Jack, but, you know. <laughs> uh, then we have Sabrina, the Melissa Ojo Hart version, the ITT <clears throat> tech guy, and Squidward. Boy, that's a hell of a show. And you know Listen, what? If it's you love that game, game <laughs> I bet you're on the edge of your seats. Sounds like something that would be in uh, Maria's DVD cabinet. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Yeah, because that was a horrific torture for me. <laughs> and I think Lucas. <laughs> well, that's our show. Lucas, thanks so much for coming on here. Thank you for having me. And saying that uh, you're the worst year of your life was when you looked like me. <laughs> Yeah, and telling, encouraging people to drop out of high school, and flexing your cash and success. Uh, jokes aside, listeners, Lucas's TikTok is amazing because you've succeeded at like three different arcs. Like the first stuff you were doing was more sketch, like the high school stuff, mm-hmm, and then mm-hmm. you kind of went into the like the Latino character. Yeah, and then now you've got this. Is she a Karen? Yeah, like yeah. A, like a like a kind of like an annoying. I think that's my favorite of yeah. all of the one, but like that's that's super like uh, hard to do is three different niches, so it shows you the real deal and got yeah. lots of range. Thank you. So, so much. if you're not already following this guy, listeners, which you fucking probably are, <laughs> but if you're not, look him up. It's well and worth the if you're not following our Instagram, make sure to follow up to see the photo that I Photoshop of our amazing fan cast. <laughs> and while you're doing that, can you Photoshop my abs? Because this guy <laughs> doesn't think I got any. Thanks a lot, Lucas, for being on the show. For sure, thank you, man. Music by Hoax. Follow us at Pilot Fighters on social media. Send your pilot suggestion to pilotfighterspodcast at gmail.com. Don't get cancelled.